Action! Hi, I'm Kevin Callen. Welcome to Happy Camper. Do you have your own bug out bag in case the world comes to an end? <laughs> Hurricanes, tornadoes. I noticed what's going on now is a lot of companies are, are creating their own bug out bags for zombie apocalypse. Now, I think the reason why is zombies are the catalyst of the end of the world, right? We don't want to really think about the end of the world. It's a lot more fun to think that zombies will destroy us. Goal Zero, they have one, I uh, got this online. Uh, it comes with its own machete. <laughs> it's gotta be good. They're really good at, well, if you ran out of power, they, they actually have a whole bunch of solar power uh, devices. This here is uh, the Nomad 7, and it's a solar panel that actually you can run a whole bunch of things on. Uh, my favorite is right here, is basically you, you plug this in through a U USB, it's the uh, Switch 8, and uh, that's a battery. So you can uh, get solar um, energy onto this battery and you then can run things like your satellite phone, your uh, <laughs> your iPod, because you gotta listen to John Denver while you're, you're getting your brain chewed apart by a zombie. By the way, zombies don't exist, just so you know, okay? If you're thinking they do, they do, you got a problem. So the other thing uh, Goal Zero has is the Sherpa 50. This has got one of those 110 plugs so you can plug everything in, like your, your laptop, where well, you can put your laptop in there too. Uh, you can put, you can power your, your uh, your camera so you can actually take photos of the end of the world and zombies eating people and stuff of like that so you can share that with your friends and family it's a, a small bag so i'm going to step it up a notch and get a bigger bag get more stuff because you know i want more stuff when the zombies come zombies don't exist though remember that forget about drinking water <laughs> and, and just bring the booze because you know if you're going to get eaten by a zombie you might as well go happy that's what I'm saying. Uh, in all seriousness, you can actually use a water filter. This one I really, I think is cool. It's called the uh, Gravity Filter by Platypus. Dirty water goes into the clean water through gravity through a charcoal filter. Really lightweight. <laughs> make sure you bring a pair of these Tark Fin uh, gloves so they make you uh, swim 70% faster, supposedly. Zombies can't swim though. You gotta eat. Uh, out there so uh, you can actually get a whole bunch of these if you want this is dried food to cook your meals uh, try these fire starters out they're fantastic put these in your pack insta flame they uh, are that shavings you get from under the the wine that you get at the liquor store or the vegetables at the supermarket and it's soaked in paraffin and these are amazing they really work for stove eh? like you can I just said the stove eh? I must be Canadian like a stove, eh? You can now use a butane stove or a white gas stove, but eventually these things are gonna be gone, right? The, the, the world's coming to an end, you, you just can't go and find these butane cylinders. This is a lot lighter, this grill. That's all you really need, to be quite honest. You put two rocks, get a fire going, cook up your meals. First aid, you're going to need first aid, uh, well, because zombies are attacking you. Not that they exist, but if they did, you would need a lot of first aid. You, you could bring something like this, or I would I would go up up a notch. <laughs> Alright, what else? Oh yeah, the bugs, actually. The bugs are really bad right now. I'm wondering if black flies are actually true zombies. Maybe they are the zombies of Northern Ontario. Or bug net. You can wear a bug net. Make sure when you get a bug net, by the way, it, it's not the cheap type that actually says mosquito net mesh. It's got to be no CM netting and that's a really fine stuff because no CMs but they're biting me right now actually uh, can't find their way through. And make sure it's black because the gray uh, material uh, not as good to see through and you want to see the zombies coming. Not that they exist. Uh, make sure you get this as well. Afterbite. So shelter, you gotta sleep. You don't wanna sleep, because zombies are out there. Not that they exist, but if they, they did, you, I wouldn't wanna sleep. I'd be terrified the whole time. But, uh, sling bags. I, uh, I would either bring one of these, like little lightweight uh, bivy escape baby bags, or a sling bag like this, the dream catcher. Expat has this. It's just cool, it's not a mummy bag. It's a, a bag that your feet can 
dangle out at the bottom and has arms free and uh you know that's a great it, it, it's got like a jacket you can wear it like a jacket around the camp so you can run away in your sleeping bag i, I don't want to stay in the tent i don't want to be in a tent during a zombie apocalypse because you can't you know you'd, you'd be surrounded by zombies in the tent i want to see the zombies it's really important to see the zombie because here's a good shelter this is a tarp that actually can go around you, you get a fire going nemo makes a really good tarp uh so that's it. That, that's that's how you survive a zombie apocalypse or a hurricane or a, you know whatever. You, you be prepared. You got your solar power. You're good to go. And they don't really exist, though. Don't worry. Zombies do not exist. So. Ah, ah, ah. Happy camper. See, if you're prepared, even a zombie apocalypse can be fun. <laughs> Cheers. <Yeah. laughs> Fix your bandage there. Looking pretty bad. My, my, my music hit me so hard Makes me say, oh my lord, thank you for blessing me What am I to run and do like me? It feels good when you know you're down A super dope homeboy from the old town And I'm known as such And this is a beat, uh, you can't touch it <laughs> I told you, old boy, you can't touch it <laughs>